Problem 10. We're given the first four terms in an arithmetic sequence being p, 9, 3p minus q, and 3p plus q, respectively. What is the 2010th term for this sequence? So if we're trying to find the nth term of a sequence, we need to utilize the nth term um, formula for an arithmetic sequence, which is the first term plus the n minus 1 times d, standing for the common difference. So that means for a common difference, or in, or in arithmetic series, every term differs by a constant amount, and let's call that quantity r. So that means 9 minus p must give r, and that, for example, 3p minus q minus 9 must also give r. So given this, we can solve the question. We know that, well, this is a pretty badly drawn, so let's call that q, and that's 9. So we have two variables, we have two equations, or we have three variables, so we need one more, which we can get from simply saying that 3p plus q minus 3p plus q is equal to r as well. So from here, 2q is equal to r. Now we can solve the question. q minus p is equal, or 9 minus p, sorry for my bad handwriting, 9 minus p is, is equal to 2q. We also know that 3p um, minus, um, let's see, 3p minus q is equal to 2q plus 9. So in other words, 3p minus 3q is equal to 9. So that means p minus q is equal to 3. So this means it's negative p plus 9. Oh my god, my handwriting is so bad. Minus, let's do that again, minus 2q is equal to negative 9. So we add it. If we add it, negative 3q, right? Negative 3q is equal to negative 6. So q is equal to 2. If q is equal to 2, that means p is equal to 5. If p is equal to 5, then that means r is equal to 4. If r is equal to 4, then we've solved this question. Because a's of 1 will simply be 9 minus the r value, which is 4, which gives 5. So that's 5 plus n minus 1 times the common difference of 4. So that's equal to 4n plus 1. And that's a n. So what is the 2010th term? Well, that's just a of 2010, which is equal to 4 times 2010, which is 8040 plus 1, which is 8041, bringing you to answer choice A.